Hi everyone, Luke here from Figmento Films and it is finally here. The Panasonic firmware 2.0 upgrade for the Panasonic S1 camera. It is absolutely immense and this comes on top of already amazing features. Now earlier on you had to get a key to unlock a lot of these uh, video features but man, I mean these, this makes a camera a new camera. It, you want to get that key now. Uh, there's a lot of offers on there anyway, anyway. And also you can pick these cameras up really sort of as far as full frame cameras go, relatively cheap. Now I've got mine for like 1200 pounds from, uh, from Wix. Um, in my opinion, this makes these cameras the best bang for buck cameras on the market, especially for creators. They're probably not the best at any one thing, but they do a lot of things exceptionally well. And this upgrade further proves that point. Now this video is gonna be a series of videos and this first video is looking at the 6K footage, which is why you might notice that the um, aspect ratio is a bit different. Now this is all being shot in 6K. Now what I'm gonna do in this video is just show you a couple of um, montages that I've made. The first one is taken around Studley and for some crazy reason, I just wanted to push my luck a little bit and I've recorded in 6K in v in hlg now what does this mean well hlg along with vlog you really want to be recording in 10 bit as colors can fall apart if you push and pull them too too far but i just thought what the hell let's go for it um the second one is going to be at aravaya lake and i just tried to capture some wildlife um it's a really nice morning so yeah, it's just a, a test and that, that uh, second montage is actually going to be filmed in the natural profile as well. Now, just a little bit more about what this upgrade actually brings. I had to write it down because there's loads, there's more than what I've written down, but these are the ones that are really big uh, for me. So firstly, we've got 6K uh, internal, 5.9K internal, 5.4K internal, all at 200 megabits a second in 420 long gap um, LPCM. Do you say long gap or do you say, L, um, or do you say long GOP? Now what is important to understand about those modes is they are 15 minutes long and apparently this is because of limitations of the camera. Now this camera is over two years old I believe and the fact that Panasonic would even support it like this is absolutely incredible. Further, um, and this is what excites me more, 6K is amazing, um, but this is what I think I'm gonna be using like pretty much all the time. Cine 4K at 60, uh, at 60 or 50p in 420 10-bit at 200 megabits a second. Cine 4K in um, 60 and 50 in 408 bit 150 megabits a second. And um, those are both at 30 minutes. I've got 30 minutes uh, time limits. And then finally, the one I will be using like all the time is Cine 4K at 24p, 25p and 30p in 422, 10-bit, unlimited. That's staggering. Now, the reason I'm going to be using that so much is because it's of super high quality. But if I combine that with Cine 4K uh, 60p in 10-bit, well, then I'm going to be like sticking my... Uh, I'll be able to make basically really really cool montages where I'm running around with my camera on a gimbal and finally getting incredible quality at the same time so I can slow that footage down and I think it's going to cut nicely in with the uh, with the with the Cine 4K 24p or 25p Re I'm really excited um, like jumbling all over my words because I just want to get to the next bit which is the first montage so uh, check this out
Okay, so let me know what you thought of that. Um, I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, also, it should be a note that like I've got a spot and this is the worst time to film in super high res mode. But feel free to stop and scrub through this footage and have a look up closer. I think it looks pretty damn awesome. The next one I like, I was really hoping to get a lot more wildlife, but unfortunately the birds just weren't having it. I did get a couple of really nice shots, so. Uh, you can check this one out, it's shot in the natural profile, all in 6K again, and uh, let me know what you think. Over the coming weeks, there's going to be a lot more, foot a lot more sort of, of this type of footage coming out. I like to occasionally film sort of like little, almost like portraits, just outside, relaxing videos, and yeah, I think I'll be using this mode quite a bit. So this is the second montage, taken at my local park, let me know what you think. Okay, so we're back and um, I've had a little look through the footage and I personally think it looks fantastic. Obviously there is this aspect ratio, but I don't really mind this for um, for like YouTube and stuff, um, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm doing anything more narrative based, probably gonna wanna squeeze that down to like a 16 by nine or um, something a bit more filmic. But I mean, for talking headshots, I, not, I don't really mind this at all. Um, I think this is an incredible achievement on Panasonic's part, not only because it shows that they've listened to the audience, you know, they've supported a camera that's like two years old and you can't really say it's the biggest selling camera on the market either. Um, I think now would be the time to buy into this system and there's a lot of trepidation about buying into the L Mount Alliance and it's not without sort of like press, it's not without sort of good cause to be honest. I mean. They still need to release more lenses. Um, they have still sort of got this autofocus problem, which even though I personally don't find it that much of a problem, I can understand why other creators would. Um, I've, I'm not usually doing vlogs all the time, but if I was, maybe this would be a lot more of an issue with me, especially outside of a studio. Um, so because of that, is that sort of, are those attitudes sort of dictating the future of Lumix? I hope not, I hope Lumix do come out with like better autofocus, but I'm not, you know, going forward, I'm not gonna make autofocus an ish, a topic of my videos, I'm kind of over it. We know what we're getting, and I'm not that bothered by it. Instead, I'm absolutely astounded by how much these cameras can offer, especially to creators. It, absolutely astounding. Um, Obviously, not only have they added the 6K mode, they've also added the Cine 4K, but they've also added anamorphic. That should absolutely excite anyone, um, any potential filmmakers especially. Now, it doesn't mean, the camera itself doesn't have anamorphic. What it does is it allows you to use anamorphic lenses and do all the de-squeezing and stuff inside the camera itself. It's just such a useful tool for creators. I absolutely love this camera. Like I said, I, pick, I, I picked mine up for 1200. You're absolutely getting a bargain if you can get it for that sort of price. And then spend money on the upgrade. If you get it pre-owned, you might even be lucky and have the upgrade pre-installed, which is just amazing. Uh, and a few uh, tips as well. Quite a few people on the Facebook forums have been mentioning, do you need to upgrade to the previous firmwares to get this one? No, just go over, firmware 2.0, install it, and you'll have everything else as well. I think this is stunning. As you can tell, I'm like a kid at Christmas. Um, I wanted to get this video out really fast. That's why it might seem a bit jumbled. I've just been, I've been up like since six in the morning, running down to the park and all over the place and just wanted to get this done. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. 
and I'll have some more videos coming out over the next few weeks and I'll uh, catch you next time. See ya.